So yesterday, at least the 14th, uh, three judges decided they wanted to dismantle the internet. Now, I've never heard about anything about this yesterday, so it's probably done in a little bit of a hush-hush or something I wasn't really noticing or paying attention to, something sort of under the brow. But now it's sort of a shitstorm where companies such as Verizon, different sorts of ISPs, have the power and the ability to discriminate against websites, applications, and or services. So in better words, if they don't like what you're looking at, they're going to cancel it outright. Or websites, such as we know, it could be, you know, forms or anything else in particular they don't like, they can take it down and you have no, no access to it unless you have some sort of way to get past it, which I, it's, it's going to be a little bit of a hassle for those folks who aren't savvy with these said applications of execution or these tools. So what does this mean for folks? Now, let's break down what this actually means. It means that, like I just said, it's control. that They have a lot more control than they originally did. Before, it was sort of like the Wild West. I mean, you had your outlaws, you had your, you know, your sheriffs in these towns and all that, you know, you know, and we would, we would use the example of Texas, for example, here. I'm not saying, you know, the country itself today. I'm talking about yesterday. You have different counties in Texas, right? These, I mean, this is just an exter- just an example. Uh, of course, the Wild West was always benchmarked as Texas or at least New Mexico and all that stuff. So we're going to use that as the platform for this example, this this uh, imagery, if you can use your mind to that extent. So let's look at this. All right, you have these sheriffs, and you have your marshals. You have all this stuff. You have these folks who are, you know, obviously way of the hands of the land, so to speak. They, you know, they take care of the land. The land is starting to prosper. You have these coal miners who over time start getting more control, more control, and they, they find diamonds, even though technically diamonds are more in the African regions. But they find these exotic diamonds somehow. They find this gold in these mountains, and they be able to become rich. So after they become rich, they, begin, they get more power. More power becomes responsibility. Responsibility becomes too overburdened, and then it becomes a clusterfuck, a a shrapnel, so to speak, of what we can look at now. So these supposed gold miners are now the big leagues. These are the guys that can control everything with a drop of a gold coin, or in this case, a silver dollar, on the hand of a marshal. And these marshals now, which of course being the ISPs, can go about and arrest you outright. And this, of course, now this is not saying everyone's going to be arrested because they're looking at something on the internet unless it's child porn, but it's the fact that it's something similar to that. They take away your freedom from being able to look at stuff such as, you know, websites, which are pretty nifty, such as uh, DeviantArt or wherever else. You can't look at most of this stuff anymore if they don't like it, and that's generally what it means. So the society on the internet, which was more of a free base than anything else, is sort of being regulated. It's trying to be more contract. It's trying to be more refined. But to me, it doesn't need to be as long as people have moral responsibilities. But again, of course, this is the internet. Who really does? I mean, it's not supposed to have a moral responsibility. It's just a platform where people can tap dance and express themselves and be able to be free and all that and exotic and be able to show these great high resolution sharp imagery of different parts of the world and all that i mean this isn't all that necessarily isn't getting taken away it's just the fact that if you say something that they don't like they can tap the shoulder of people like verizon they can tap the shoulder of someone like at&t they can tap somebody like cox and go hey we don't want that anymore and that goes away now again this is not me wearing a tinfoil hat and tap dancing for you here this is just me pointing out the demographical or yeah tongue-tied demographical point here that democracy when it comes to this it just thrown out the window any sort of morals that you had at least hoping that you had more freedom on the internet is slightly diminished now of course this can be reversed who knows i'm not telling you the weather here i'm just predicting that hopefully or i'm hoping hopefully that this can somehow be fixed somehow the government can change their mind but that won't probably happen anytime soon the same thing with most of these type of bills that we see nowadays are supposedly censoring us when it comes to us distributing and sharing our gameplay experiences via on game or as well as talking about our movies that we just recently watched at the theater or whatever else so 
is this of course more multimedia companies are getting more control over what we be able to distribute as our opinion yes it's slowly creeping towards that ideal and it sucks it's like you pay the money to buy these AAA movies, these AAA games, and these mo songs, and you want to express yourself. You want to show people what you think of it sometimes. But that slowly got pulled away too. And you think, okay, he's going off topic. No, I'm not necessarily not because this is sort of similar. So now let's take this example here. You show a screenshot of a movie. Now, if things get a lot more worse than they already are, you even showing a screenshot of a movie could count as something against that intellectual property stake and they can just go take that down take the whole website down we don't want it anymore if it's going to show stuff like that that's generally what this means or what it could mean potentially if it's just that brutal or brutal excuse me so the internet again what do you guys think of it i mean it's a place you can unwind you can learn things it's a it's a it's a library of education it's a library of information it's a library of essential knowledge that's generally what the internet is it has its ups it has its downs i mean yes sometimes it does need to be checked i mean everyone would have not in agreement sometimes but past that it's something that you can humbly go on the every single day and enjoy that's why i think everyone needs to have this it's sort of like the great depression so to speak in our in our society today we're having that relapse of the same thing happening before where people have the internet look at cats look at movies that they paid for via websites that they obviously are subscribed to like ultraviolet or whatever else but without responsibility becomes a backlash too so i could probably see a very vulgar backlash now this is not me personally threatening nobody i'm putting that out right now but this is just something I can see probably soon. And it's going to be sort of a crazy time. So duck, hide, like I'm going to be doing. <laughs> and um, let's hope things can pan out pretty well. But again, I want to hear what everyone has to say about this as well. Because I know a lot of people are going to be very vocal about this. I don't blame everybody at all. I mean, to me, it's sort of a heinous thing to do. Especially to a free base thing that's supposed to be an open and free public kind of thing even though technically it isn't open and free but you know you can technically access it for free via you know libraries or whatever else so there you go that's that's a part of it all before we know it will be regulated and how much sex we can have daily on a basis but hopefully before then we better get all of our uh, our knocks in before then so that way we don't become a second generation to china what